What's up everyone? This is my Ling guide. Uh, it's gonna be pretty basic, I guess. Um, just so people can get an understanding of the character. Uh, I'm gonna be, go be going over some of her strengths and weaknesses and uh, I guess punishers. Just basically overall how you want to approach with this character. Um, okay, uh, so let's go over strengths. Shall you excels at poking poking down your your uh, opponent, and she has really good uh, movement to back that up. Um, she's a really fast character and evasive. Um, so let's just touch on that. Uh, her most evasive. <laughs> Uh, stance would be AOP, everyone's favorite. Um, in this stance, she's able to evade highs, uh, mids, and with AOP down, sometimes even like lows. It's it's weird. Um, so that's that's what ma makes her really strong. It, the, the opponent has to really know which moves hits Xiao Yu out of her stance. So uh, a lot of people, they get frustrated because they're, they don't know or they don't lab the matchup and they're doing all these moves that just casually whiffed while she's in the stance and they get frustrated and lose. <laughs> um, but you definitely want to do your homework and make sure you know which of your moves are uh, which of your moves work while she's in the stance. Um, so let's touch on AOP some more. While in AOP, she has access to a lot of pretty good moves. Um, she has uh, a AOP launcher, down 1 plus 2. Um, I should... Okay, never mind. Down 1 plus 2. Um, so it's a safe mid launcher. Uh, she has a safe mid launcher, and then she also has a uh, low sweep to complement it, all right? What you should be looking uh, for are either this or the AOP sweep. Now the AOP sweep guarantees a few things, and, and then from there is just, you know, mind games. Um, she can have uh, AOP sweep guarantees a low. Uh, for like, what is that, 12 damage? And it's really strong at the end of a match. So like if your opponent is uh, low health, you don't want to mess around and do anything that's not guaranteed. So you will always want to go for this. This is guaranteed. Um, but then there's also mix-ups where, like, if you think they're going to lay down, just stay on the ground. You can do AOP sweep, and then sidestep 3, because sidestep 3, side step three hits grounded. Um... You can also go for AOP sweep, and if they try to get up, oh wait, can I? AOP sweep, and if they try to get up, you can do down forward 2-1. Um, and if they try to get up incorrectly, it'll launch them. So that's something that, uh, that's really strong for her, her mix-ups. And it's just like a constant guess on how the opponent is going to react. Um, what else? She has uh, AOP a four three. I guess I'm just going to talk about the like useful moves because she has she has this. I guess it's plus or something, but <laughs> uh, she has AOP a four three. If you just do the first part, it's a launcher, so you can do something like that. Um, and then she has the extension. AOP of 433, and you could also follow that up. Uh, what else is really good from here? I mentioned earlier the AOP duck, it's it makes her even more evasive. Um, and then she has AOP the grabs, or the, the roll grab. You could go, you can go left or right. Um, so what this is, it's a come command grab, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure they... 
either either grab break. So she she has the, the option to do grabs from uh, AOP. Uh, so what's really neat is like sometimes a lot of times uh, like when you're in this stance when you're in AOP, sometimes like there will be situations where if you do the grab or the the grab roll, she'll roll to your side and do like a, a back grab like there. So those can be really useful because um, like if she gets your back like that, you can't break it. Um, the grab is, it is a high, so let's see. The grab is a high. So if they're decking, that's, that's kind of how you beat it. Um, but she can also cancel it, so that's what makes it kind of good, I guess. At least I use it for that sometimes. Um, she has AOP 4. It's a pretty fast mid. I think it's one of her fastest moves from AOP. Uh, player frame details. It's 12 frames. Yeah, it is her fastest. Um, 12 frames, it's safe, so if they block it, you're fine. Um, what else does she have? She has AOP Slide. So I kind of like this move to throw out uh, here and there. If you get it blocked, it's really bad. You get Launch Punish. But a lot of times if like you're trying to close a gap and they're like mashing, you can find your way in by just uh, pressing 3 and then you get a whole counter hit combo. So you get a combo off of uh, AOP 3 um, on counter hit, so that's really good. Uh, in AOP, you're able to cancel it, cancel the stance by tapping up. Um, so I know a lot of a lot of Ling players, I guess, or just players in general, aren't too sure how to do that properly. A lot of them will like jump or cancel the stance by doing a move, but you can actually cancel AOP by just tapping up and you're really safe. You can block right away. Um, let's go over her back turn stance. Um, so she has back turn. Uh, from here, she is probably like the scariest character in the game with rage. Um, due to her rage drive being a low launch starter uh so her rage drive is comes out pretty fast here and gives you like a whole combo and then you get a lot of damage but the thing is the mix-up is uh so while she's back turn she can also do a mid launcher which is back turn four um which also gives her a bunch of damage so it kind of makes it like when she has rage, you're kind of scared to duck because you can eat that mid launcher, or you're kind of scared to not duck because you know the low. Um, or a lot of times, if you're just ducking, right? Say the opponent, say the opponent is being stubborn. You just you just chunk them down with this, right? And if, if their back is to the wall, you get a whole combo. And, and this is a mid, and it's all natural if the first part hits. Back turn 1-4. Yeah, the wall was weird there, but it's a really strong tool. So back turn 1-4 guarantees that. Uh, you don't want to really abuse this too much, because the second part is a high. So if they're ducking, they can just launch you. Um, second part is high. Uh, what else? She has back turn down four. Let's make him stand. Back turn down four, which is a, uh, it guarantees a, it guarantees damage. Um, and depending on where you're at, you want to do different things. At the wall, you want to do that. That's pretty solid damage. Um. And yeah, so with this move, you, you have to be careful with because uh, 
in, in Tekken 7 they sped up the, the speed of the move, so it comes out faster, but it doesn't launch anymore. Um, in previous games it was really slow, but it gave you a launcher. Um, so that moves, you have to be careful because it is launch punishable on block. Um, she has back turn down 3, it's really plus on its own, plus 7. Um, the follow-up is a high, so you don't really want to finish finish it. It's guaranteed on counter hit. But like, if you just see the first part hit, and it's not counter hit, they can duck the second hit and launch you for it. Um, she has this roll. She has the roll. The roll is pretty evasive sometimes. Um, and then you can do the, the launcher from it. Uh, what else does she have? From back turn, she has grabs. She has, uh, the input for the grab is, uh, I guess while you're back turn, it's forward, forward. So it's forward, forward, grab, two plus four, or, uh, three plus four. And you have to break, oops, sorry. You have to break those grabs accordingly. So the two plus four is a two break, and then the one, did I say? <laughs> and then the back turn one plus three. I think I said three plus four. The back turn one plus three is a one break. Um, so in in tag two she was really strong because of her back turn grabs. Uh, and then in Tekken seven they kind of nerfed that right all all across the board. Um, so characters with command grabs are pretty strong. Um, like her back turn grabs got nerfed, but that's the only way to do it is with the hopping grab. Um, but it is a whole hopping animation, so it's not the strongest, right? They can easily duck and react to it, so use that move sparingly. Uh, back turn three, it's her wall bounce. I don't know. I'm still whatever over wall bounces, but um, she has that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for for like really good moves back turn. There's a, like there's a bunch of like I guess more advanced tricks for back turn. Um, like doing back turn moves, etc. Uh, but that's not the point here. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let's go over her punishers. Um, I don't know if I should have covered this in the beginning, but whatever. Her 10 frame is a uh, 1 down 2. Um, you can hold it to stay front facing, or you can tap it and uh, go back turn. And I think this is really strong because uh, you get the back turn mix up. Remember, we have our down 3, we have our down 4. If we have rage, uh, we have options to do the race drive and then one down to uh, yeah it, it, it's really good punisher uh, 11 frames four I guess uh, a lot of times if I'm unsure of a punishment I'll do one down two it's you can't go wrong there um, 12 frame you have forward one plus two your shoulder uh, really good move wall splats um it knocks down yeah four to one plus here uh you have to be careful with this move not to miss your punish because it is launch punishable um so yeah also you don't want to really throw this move out there you only want to use it as a punisher really uh 13 frames 13 frames uh we have back four ish uh, I don't really believe in using back four too much, unless it's like, um, so a lot of times I use this move for like a 14 frame if I want the wall splat, right? Because it's, it's really beefy. It's 33 damage. Yeah, yeah, shoulder gives you wall splat, but you know, you want as much damage as you can squeeze out. Um, so uh, that's 13. Uh, a lot of times though, I'll just like, I'll go for shoulder. 
uh, 14 frame we have standing 3. Now that's a really good punisher, not too many characters have a 14 frame launcher and she does. Um, 4, 4, 3, down 3, 4, 4, 2, 1, 4. Um, there's different combos you can do but that's more consistent. Um, 15 frame you have down 4, 2, 1. A pretty solid launcher. Um, down for 2 1. Uh, she also has, for 16 frames, she has Hopkit. And that's the important moves that you need to know for her, uh, her frame data. <clears throat> um, what else? I guess we can go over like combos. Okay, I forgot to mention while going over the moves, uh, her homing moves. Back to forward four and sidestep three, I guess. Those are some of her homing moves. Um, uh, so combos. So I'm gonna show you guys just like basic combos for like damage like basic enders and then I'm gonna show you how to end your combos in Oki. Okay. So this is off of down for two one. Sixty-seven damage, let me I have rage on, but you wanna do the same. Uh Side step three. These aren't, I'm not, they're like not the most optimal combos, but typically you want to do these, launch these combos if you get a launcher. But usually if there's like a wall or something, that's when you adjust your combo. Um, but we're just showing you open stage combos. So that launcher was wall rising too delayed. You can delay it and do a whole launch off of it. Uh, we have Rage Drive, I think I showed it earlier. Back turn four there is guaranteed, so you want to make sure you always do it. We can do AOP up four three. Oh wait. It's pretty standard. A lot of the combos are the same. Um, but as you come to play Shao Yu more, you can see that her combos can be a little bit more flexible. Now let me show you guys some oki situations that I go for. So this is so this situation is if they decide not to get up off of the ground. Uh, so there you get like a mini reset combo. Okay so this one is if they decide to tech roll. Uh, you get to do, oh here let me just show you when they tech. So in this situation, they have to guess. They have to guess if I'm going to do AOP sweep or uh, I guess the mid launcher, right? There he eats AOP sweep. There he eats mid launcher. So the reason I do these, uh, I guess, resets. A lot of people will see it as just like, oh, he dropped the combo. I guess that's why a lot of people don't know if I'm doing it on purpose. Um, but a lot of it is on purpose because I'm going for a reset potential. Um, so what I look at is, I look at the distance to the wall. I see if I'm going to reach the wall or not. Um, then I see the damage is this combo going to lead to a bunch of damage? If not, let me go for a reset to do a little bit of more damage that I wouldn't have gotten from the combo. Um, 
and a lot of times the payout is worth and then you get a little bit uh it, it's not gonna hurt you to go for it so if you see a situation where um at least this is how i see it if i see a situation and i know it's not gonna kill or get them to the wall i'm not gonna go for damage and pushing them away i'm gonna try and keep pressure and try and go for another opportunity at launching them or you know squeezing a little bit more damage out um so with this situation oh wait sorry so with this situation you have a lot of possibilities you can do you could do the safe mid you don't even always have to launch them you could do safe options even when you drop it you can do safe mids you can do uh just cancel into like like you could do something like this like stand up cancel your aop um you can do a lot of things you have to get creative so that's the fun thing about xiaoyu is she lets you pretty much play how you want you know there's no one way how you want to play her um you get to experiment a lot and see what suits you best um i hope you guys enjoyed this quick ish tutorial um if it's if you, if it goes pretty well i'll do a more in-depth uh guide for show you like with all the tips and tricks but i hope you guys enjoyed um i'll see you guys next time